Hello everyone and welcome to another British English listening exercise. My name is Dylan and I will be your teacher for the day. So, how does it work? Well, first you will see an image and then you will hear a question. There will then be a short dialogue. So listen carefully and try to answer the question. We will then replay the clip with English subtitles and go through the answer together to see if you got it correct. Finally, at the end of the exercise, I will give you your English listening score and also rank the questions in order of difficulty. There is also a mysterious bonus round halfway through the exercise, which I promise, I promise you, is definitely worth sticking around for. Right guys, well, best of luck and I will see you in about about 10 seconds for the first question. Hello again and welcome to your first question. So we have two friends that are planning a picnic in the park. The question is which food items do they decide to bring? Wow! What a beautiful day! I know, it is perfect for our picnic later. Agreed. So, what should we bring? Well, let's start with a loaf of bread, and then we can make our own sandwiches. Of course. So, what type of sandwiches should we make? I don't know. What do you reckon? Well, how about my famous cheese and chocolate combo? Um, whilst that does of course sound delicious, maybe let's leave out the chocolate this time. Really? Really. Fine. Let's get crisps instead then. Okay, sounds good. As long as I don't have to eat another of your famous cheese and chocolate sandwiches. Hey, that's a family recipe. Well, maybe it should stay that way. Wow! What a beautiful day! I know, it is perfect for our picnic later. Agreed. So, what should we bring? Well, let's start with a loaf of bread, and then we can make our own sandwiches. Of course. So, what type of sandwiches should we make? I don't know. What do you reckon? Well, how about my famous cheese and chocolate combo? Um, whilst that does of course sound delicious, maybe let's leave out the chocolate this time. Really? Really. Fine. Let's get crisps instead then. Okay, sounds good. As long as I don't have to eat another of your famous cheese and chocolate sandwiches. Hey, that's a family recipe. Well, maybe it should stay that way. Right, second question and we have a man who is talking to his friend about what he did last weekend. The question is, in which order did the man visit these places? All right, mate. How was your weekend? It was lovely, thank you. That's good to hear. What did you get up to? Well, it was my birthday on Saturday, so I started the day off with a healthy breakfast burger. A breakfast burger? They are delicious, trust me. Anyway, after that, I went for a nice swim in the sea. Really? Wasn't it cold? Well, yes. However, I ordered a super mega birthday hot chocolate from the cafe afterwards, so thankfully, that warmed me up. I see. So, what did you do after that? Well, I was supposed to be going to the zoo, but I got hungry again, so I decided to go back for another birthday burger. Two burgers in one day. Nice mate. I am glad to hear you had such a good weekend. All right, mate. How was your weekend? 
It was lovely, thank you. That's good to hear. What did you get up to? Well, it was my birthday on Saturday, so I started the day off with a healthy breakfast burger. A breakfast burger? They are delicious, trust me. Anyway, after that, I went for a nice swim in the sea. Really? Wasn't it cold? Well, yes. However, I ordered a super mega birthday hot chocolate from the cafe afterwards, so thankfully, that warmed me up. I see. So, what did you do after that? Well, I was supposed to be going to the zoo, but I got hungry again, so I decided to go back for another birthday burger. Two burgers in one day. Nice mate. I am glad to hear you had such a good weekend. Wow. I hope your weekends are that exciting, because mine are definitely not. For the third question, we have a woman who is talking to her partner on the phone. So they're talking all about their upcoming one-year anniversary. The question is, what type of gift does the woman ask for? Hello? Hi Henry, it's me. Hi darling. How's it going? It's going well, thanks. How about you? I am doing fantastic, as always. Not only am I rich and handsome, but we are also soon to be celebrating our one-year anniversary. Wow. You remembered? Of course. The only thing Henry the millionaire forgets is how it feels to not be a millionaire. Anyway, what sort of gift would you like? Oh, well you don't have to get me anything, it is fine. Well, in that case, perhaps I should just draw you one of my famous works of art. Um. Whilst that does sound nice, I couldn't ask you for something so generous. I guess you are right. Perhaps if I decide to marry you, then you will get one then. So, how about a gold necklace instead? Once again, I could never ask for something so extravagant. Let's just get a pizza, and we can cuddle up and talk about how rich and successful you are. That sounds perfect. I am so lucky to have you, and you are of course equally lucky to have Henry the millionaire. We are a perfect couple. Agreed. Well, I guess I will see you shortly. Goodbye for now darling. Goodbye darling. Henry the millionaire will catch you later. Hello? Hi Henry, it's me. Hi darling. How's it going? It's going well, thanks. How about you? I am doing fantastic, as always. Not only am I rich and handsome, but we are also soon to be celebrating our one-year anniversary. Wow. You remembered? Of course. The only thing Henry the millionaire forgets is how it feels to not be a millionaire. Anyway, what sort of gift would you like? Oh, well you don't have to get me anything, it is fine. Well, in that case, perhaps I should just draw you one of my famous works of art. Um. Whilst that does sound nice, I couldn't ask you for something so generous. I guess you are right. Perhaps if I decide to marry you, then you will get one then. So, how about a gold necklace instead? Once again, I could never ask for something so extravagant. Let's just get a pizza, and we can cuddle up and talk about how rich and successful you are. That sounds perfect. I am so lucky to have you, and you are of course equally lucky to have Henry the millionaire. We are a perfect couple. Agreed. Well, I guess I will see you shortly. Goodbye for now darling. Goodbye darling. Henry the Millionaire will catch you later. Right, fourth question and a man is planning a barbecue with his neighbor. How exciting. The question is, 
Which items do they decide to buy? Hi, Charlie. Are we still on for our barbecue later? Of course. I have been tidying all morning. Good to hear. I look forward to coming over. Anyway, I am just about to head to the supermarket. Do you need me to get anything? Could you please pick something up for dessert? Sure, I will get some ice cream. Anything else? Well, we also need ketchup, tissues, and bread for the burgers. I see. I already have some tissues I can bring, so we don't really need to buy any more. I also prefer to make my own ketchup from tomatoes, so, if it's okay, I will just buy some of those instead. Sure. No problem. Great. I will get the bread as well, don't worry. Brilliant. Thank you. See you later. Hi Charlie, are we still on for our barbecue later? Of course. I have been tidying all morning. Good to hear, I look forward to coming over. Anyway, I am just about to head to the supermarket. Do you need me to get anything? Could you please pick something up for dessert? Sure, I will get some ice cream. Anything else? Well, we also need ketchup, tissues, and bread for the burgers. I see. I already have some tissues I can bring, so we don't really need to buy any more. I also prefer to make my own ketchup from tomatoes, so, if it's okay, I will just buy some of those instead. Sure. No problem. Great. I will get the bread as well, don't worry. Brilliant. Thank you. See you later. Question 5 and we have a woman who is talking to her sister all about what she did last weekend. So the question is, which one of the following activities did the woman not do last weekend? Hi sis. How's it going? Not too bad, thanks. Although I must admit, I am absolutely knackered. You always say that. What's your excuse this time? Well, I took the kids camping last weekend, so as you can probably imagine, I didn't get much sleep. Oh yeah, of course. I completely forgot about that. The pictures that you sent of your family picnic looked lovely. Yeah, the food was surprisingly good. Nice. So, what did you do after that? Unfortunately, it started raining quite heavily, so we had to cancel our trip to the beach and go to the library instead. Oh, well the library is fun too. Yes, and most importantly, it is quiet. I nearly fell asleep whilst the kids were choosing books to read. Hi sis. How's it going? Not too bad, thanks. Although I must admit, I am absolutely knackered. You always say that. What's your excuse this time? Well, I took the kids camping last weekend, so as you can probably imagine, I didn't get much sleep. Oh yeah, of course. I completely forgot about that. The pictures that you sent of your family picnic looked lovely. Yeah, the food was surprisingly good. Nice. So, what did you do after that? Unfortunately, it started raining quite heavily, so we had to cancel our trip to the beach and go to the library instead. Oh, well the library is fun too. Yes, and most importantly, it is quiet. I nearly fell asleep whilst the kids were choosing books to read. Right, welcome to the sixth question, which is of course the halfway point. So make sure to stick around to the end of this question for a scintillating surprise. Anyway, 
We have a couple who are celebrating their one year anniversary and they're looking back to their first date. The question is, in which order did the events of that date occur? Wow, this pizza is delicious. Anyway, can you believe it has been one year already? I know, you are so lucky. I still remember the first date like it was yesterday. Really? Of course. Henry the millionaire has a perfect, photographic memory. I see. With that being said, I particularly remember how beautiful you looked when I picked you up in my helicopter. That was so fun. Although, I must admit, I was a bit surprised when you used it to take us to your office. Those helicopter rides don't pay for themselves. Yes, of course, darling. So, do you remember what we did next? I believe we walked over to my castle, where I prepared a delicious meal, using only the finest ingredients from across the world. Well, firstly, I believe it was actually your chef who prepared the meal. And secondly, I also believe that you made me visit your private hairdresser, before I was allowed to even enter your castle. I just wanted to make sure that you looked your best. After all, I remember looking particularly handsome that night. Of course, darling, whatever you say. Anyway, thanks for a great year. No problem. And here is to many more years together. Right? Um. Let's just enjoy tonight and see what happens. Wow, this pizza is delicious. Anyway, can you believe it has been one year already? I know, you are so lucky. I still remember the first date like it was yesterday. Really? Of course. Henry the millionaire has a perfect, photographic memory. I see. With that being said, I particularly remember how beautiful you looked when I picked you up in my helicopter. That was so fun. Although, I must admit, I was a bit surprised when you used it to take us to your office. Those helicopter rides don't pay for themselves. Yes, of course, darling. So, do you remember what we did next? I believe we walked over to my castle, where I prepared a delicious meal, using only the finest ingredients from across the world. Well, firstly, I believe it was actually your chef who prepared the meal. And secondly, I also believe that you made me visit your private hairdresser, before I was allowed to even enter your castle. I just wanted to make sure that you looked your best. After all, I remember looking particularly handsome that night. Of course, darling, whatever you say. Anyway, thanks for a great year. No problem. And here is to many more years together. Right? Um. Let's just enjoy tonight and see what happens. Welcome to the bonus round. Yes, how exciting is this? For this round, I'm going to be telling you all a rather hilarious joke. So, why did the farmer win a Nobel Prize? I don't know. Why? Because he was outstanding in his field. Get it? Get it? Because because your field is your area of science. And if you're outstanding in something, it means you're better than everyone else. But he's also a farmer, so he was literally outstanding in his field. Do you get it? Yeah, you get it? Um, should we get back to the video now? Yeah. Guys, very quickly, before we get to the next question, did you know that 65% of you who watch these videos aren't even subscribed? Listen, it's completely fine, I get it, but I would like to make a deal with you. If at any point during this video you laugh or you have laughed, then maybe consider subscribing. It pretty much means that I can make more videos. Cheers. Wow, 
What an outstanding joke that was. Definitely worth a subscribe if you ask me. Anyway, question number seven. And we have a girl who is talking to her teacher all about an upcoming presentation. The question is, which topic does the girl decide to do her presentation on? Hi, Lucy. I am really looking forward to your presentation tomorrow. Hi, miss. So am I. That's great. So, what will your presentation be about? Well, I'm not too sure yet. What do you mean? I want to do my presentation on music or science. So you haven't even started yet? Not yet. I would prefer to do science, but music is easier. I see. Well, if it helps, we have five students doing history, six students doing art, eight students doing music, and only three doing science. Only three people. I guess I will go for that one then. I think that is a good choice. Music may be easier, but this will be more rewarding. It better be. Now, if you will excuse me, I need to get started. Hi Lucy. I am really looking forward to your presentation tomorrow. Hi miss. So am I. That's great. So, what will your presentation be about? Well, I'm not too sure yet. What do you mean? I want to do my presentation on music or science. So you haven't even started yet? Not yet. I would prefer to do science, but music is easier. I see. Well, if it helps, we have five students doing history, six students doing art, eight students doing music, and only three doing science. Only three people. I guess I will go for that one then. I think that is a good choice. Music may be easier, but this will be more rewarding. It better be. Now, if you will excuse me, I need to get started. Question number eight. And we have two British people discussing their favorite drinks. The question is, which beverage do they both enjoy? Hi mate. How's it going? Not too bad, thanks. That's good to hear. What are you drinking? Well, this is a homemade strawberry milkshake. Really? Homemade? Yes. I actually crush the strawberries myself with my bare feet. Would you like to try some? Whilst that is a tempting offer, I don't really like milkshakes. Really? Wow. I thought everyone liked milkshakes. So, what drinks do you like? Well, my two favorite drinks would probably have to be tea and apple juice. Personally, I don't really drink either of those, but I do like orange juice. What about you? Yes, I drink it every morning. So, you telling me you don't like tea? Not really, unless it is mixed with beer, of course. Tea and beer? Really? Yes. Don't tell me you have never tried it. Honestly, that sounds rather disgusting. Hey! It is a family recipe. Hi mate. How's it going? Not too bad, thanks. That's good to hear. What are you drinking? Well, this is a homemade strawberry milkshake. Really? Homemade? Yes. I actually crush the strawberries myself with my bare feet. Would you like to try some? Whilst that is a tempting offer, I don't really like milkshakes. Really? Wow. I thought everyone liked milkshakes. 
So, what drinks do you like? Well, my two favorite drinks would probably have to be tea and apple juice. Personally, I don't really drink either of those, but I do like orange juice. What about you? Yes, I drink it every morning. So, you telling me you don't like tea? Not really, unless it is mixed with beer, of course. Tea and beer? Really? Yes. Don't tell me you have never tried it. Honestly, that sounds rather disgusting. Hey! It is a family recipe. Welcome to the ninth question, where we have a man who is booking a holiday on the phone. The question is, which one of the following places does he decide not to go to? Hello, my name is Katie, and welcome to Heroic Holidays. How may I help you today? Firstly Katie, I don't need help. In fact, the only thing Henry the Millionaire needs help with is deciding where to go on holiday with his millions of pounds. So, you do need help then? Anyway, can you help me plan a dream holiday then, please? Of course I can. How many people will be attending? Just one. Henry the Millionaire is back on the market. I see. So, where would you like to go? Let's start with some first-class tickets to my private island. Sure, that can be arranged. And then what? Well, after that, Henry would like to do some activities. Let's fly over to the French Alps, where I can show off my amazing snowboarding skills. Okay, not a problem, sir. And where would Henry the millionaire like to stay? What are my options? Well, in the French Alps, we have two options for accommodation. The first is an ancient castle, which is only £50,000 per night. It consists of 14 bedrooms, 12 swimming pools, 8 kitchens, and 30 bathrooms. Sounds acceptable. And what is the second option? Well, the second option is a wooden shed. It costs 50 pence per night and consists of one bedroom, zero bathrooms, zero swimming pools and zero kitchens. I see. Let's go for that. Seriously? Seriously. I can't expect you to possibly understand Katie, but when your life is as perfect and as luxurious as mine, sometimes you yearn for simplicity. Do you understand? Um. Okay. Also, Henry the millionaire is kind of scared of ghosts. But don't tell anyone that. Your secret is safe with me. Well, that is all done now for you, sir. Thank you for shopping with Heroic Holidays today, and have an amazing trip. Hello, my name is Katie, and welcome to Heroic Holidays. How may I help you today? Firstly Katie, I don't need help. In fact, the only thing Henry the Millionaire needs help with is deciding where to go on holiday with his millions of pounds. So, you do need help then? Anyway, can you help me plan a dream holiday then, please? Of course I can. How many people will be attending? Just one. Henry the Millionaire is back on the market. I see. So, where would you like to go? Let's start with some first-class tickets to my private island. Sure, that can be arranged. And then what? Well, after that, Henry would like to do some activities. Let's fly over to the French Alps, where I can show off my amazing snowboarding skills. Okay, not a problem, sir. And where would Henry the millionaire like to stay? What are my options? Well, in the French Alps, we have two options for accommodation. The first is an ancient castle, which is only £50,000 per night. 
It consists of 14 bedrooms, 12 swimming pools, 8 kitchens, and 30 bathrooms. Sounds acceptable. And what is the second option? Well, the second option is a wooden shed. It costs 50 pence per night and consists of one bedroom, zero bathrooms, zero swimming pools and zero kitchens. I see. Let's go for that. Seriously. Seriously. I can't expect you to possibly understand Katie, but when your life is as perfect and as luxurious as mine, sometimes you yearn for simplicity. Do you understand? Um. Okay. Also, Henry the millionaire is kind of scared of ghosts. But don't tell anyone that. Your secret is safe with me. Well, that is all done now for you sir. Thank you for shopping with Heroic Holidays today, and have an amazing trip. Tenth question, thank you for making it this far. So we have a woman who is planning a trip to the cinema with her friend. The question is, which genre of film do they decide to go and watch? Hi Sarah. It is finally Friday. I know, it felt like this week would never end. So, are we still meeting up later at the restaurant? For the hundredth time, yes. You are so forgetful on Fridays. I know, I know. So, where should we go after? Well, how about the cinema? Great idea. Why don't we watch that new film about the millionaire called Henry? I have heard it is hilarious. I do love comedies, but unfortunately, I have already seen that film. What about that new film about the two cats that start a business together? I have heard it is so romantic. I'm not really in the mood for romance. Why don't we watch the new film about the teapot that eats people? The Teapot of Terror. I have heard it is really scary. I haven't seen a scary film in ages. Let's do it. Hi, Sarah. It is finally Friday. I know, it felt like this week would never end. So, are we still meeting up later at the restaurant? For the hundredth time, yes. You are so forgetful on Fridays. I know, I know. So, where should we go after? Well, how about the cinema? Great idea. Why don't we watch that new film about the millionaire called Henry? I have heard it is hilarious. I do love comedies, but unfortunately, I have already seen that film. What about that new film about the two cats that start a business together? I have heard it is so romantic. I'm not really in the mood for romance. Why don't we watch the new film about the teapot that eats people? The Teapot of Terror. I have heard it is really scary. I haven't seen a scary film in ages. Let's do it! Question 11 and we only have one more after this. That's so sad, I know. Anyway, we have a man who is talking to his co-worker and they're basically planning out how to spend the rest of their day. So the question is, which one of the following activities do they decide not to do today? Wow. What a morning. I know, mate. Today has been a total drag. Agreed. At least we only have a few more hours left. So, what should we do? What actually needs doing? According to Henry, we need to clean up our desks, reply to all the company emails, sort out the stationery cupboard and, apparently we need to also buy everyone coffee. Buy everyone coffee? Really? Yes. Apparently it will be good for morale. 
It isn't good to drink caffeine this late in the day. Let's just do everything else, but buy everyone herbal teas instead. Sounds like a plan. I think that regular tea would also be fine. As long as it is decaf. Let's get started with those emails then. How many do we have? About 3,000. And that's just from today. Seriously? I guess I will call my wife and tell her I will be home late. Tell her I say hi. Wow. What a morning. I know mate. Today has been a total drag. Agreed. At least we only have a few more hours left. So, what should we do? What actually needs doing? According to Henry, we need to clean up our desks, reply to all the company emails, sort out the stationery cupboard and, apparently we need to also buy everyone coffee. Buy everyone coffee? Really? Yes. Apparently it will be good for morale. It isn't good to drink caffeine this late in the day. Let's just do everything else, but buy everyone herbal teas instead. Sounds like a plan. I think that regular tea would also be fine. As long as it is decaf. Let's get started with those emails then. How many do we have? About 3,000. And that's just from today. Seriously? I guess I will call my wife and tell her I will be home late. Tell her I say hi. Everyone, welcome to your final question. For this, we have a man who is currently on holiday, but he has left something at home. I wonder who it could be. So the question is, which one of the following things has the man forgotten to bring? Hello. Hi mate, it's me. How did you get on at the office? Did everyone enjoy their coffees? Um, sure. Anyway, how is your holiday going? Firstly, Henry the millionaire doesn't take holidays, holidays take me. But yeah, it is going well. I am currently chilling in my shed. In your shed? Yeah mate. Sometimes in life, you just need to shed it out. Anyway, I am calling because I seem to have forgotten something. Let me guess. Your gold Rolex. No, I sold that years ago. Henry the millionaire only wears diamonds these days. Okay, then your passport? When you are as rich and famous as I am, you don't need a passport. Unfortunately, it is something much more important than that. Your comfort socks. Or, maybe your teddy bear, Snuggles? Do you really think that Henry leaves his mansion without wearing his comfort socks? So, it's Snuggles. Unfortunately. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know I will be flying back to come and pick him up, so, if you could meet me at the airport, that would be great. Are you serious? Henry the millionaire is always serious when it comes to Snuggles. He is the only one that keeps the ghosts away. Hello. Hi mate, it's me. How did you get on at the office? Did everyone enjoy their coffees? Um. Sure. Anyway, how is your holiday going? Firstly, Henry the millionaire doesn't take holidays, holidays take me. But yeah, it is going well. I am currently chilling in my shed. In your shed? Yeah mate. Sometimes in life, you just need to shed it out. Anyway, I am calling because I seem to have forgotten something. Let me guess. Your gold Rolex. No, I sold that years ago. Henry the millionaire only wears diamonds these days. Okay, then your passport? 
When you are as rich and famous as I am, you don't need a passport. Unfortunately, it is something much more important than that. Your comfort socks. Or, maybe your teddy bear, snuggles? Do you really think that Henry leaves his mansion without wearing his comfort socks? So, it snuggles. Unfortunately. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know I will be flying back to come and pick him up, so, if you could meet me at the airport, that would be great. Are you serious? Henry the millionaire is always serious when it comes to snuggles. He is the only one that keeps the ghosts away. All right, thank you so much for watching and well done if you've made it this far. As promised, here is your English listening score and also a list of what I thought some of the easier questions were and what I thought some of the harder questions were as well. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Honestly, it makes such a big difference. And why not comment down below and let me know which country you are from as well. I'm putting two more of my listening style videos on the screen now. One is at an intermediate level and the other will be at an advanced level. So choose wisely. Right guys, thank you again so much for watching. And until next time, cheers.